And the analogy that was always talked to me when I was doing my certifications and everything was like, you gotta think your body as like an elastic band. <laughs> Cisco V at Cisco Balls on Twitter. Saw the snap, totally agree about static versus dynamic stretching before the workout. So yeah, you must have saw a snap that I was talking about the importance of dynamic stretching versus static stretching before uh -huh. your workout. So he says, is there some importance to static stretching? Definitely. Yeah. Post-workout is when yeah. you do the static stretching. So before, when I say yeah. dynamic stretching, it means moving your body. It's movement. Movement. Yeah. So it could be like doing high knees, jumping jacks. But it's like full range of motion, like long movements. Those sort of things where yeah. static stretching is the stuff that you see the old guys do when they get to the gym. They grab their ankle and they pull it up to do the quad stretch. Like yeah. it's the first thing that they do <laughs> yeah. when they get there. The classic old guy move. Yeah, it really <laughs> is. And the analogy that was always taught to me when I was doing my certifications and everything was like, you got to think your body as like an elastic band. When you're cold, I thought you were gonna say that cold rubber band. When you're yeah. cold and you pull a rubber band, it snaps. snaps. Yeah. When it's warm, it's nice and um, I'm gonna say elastic. -y. Elastic. -y. You guys get the point. Here's a dynamic stretch warm up flow example from our 31 day workout challenge. Dynamic warm up called the microwave it has a bunch of different names, but I like the microwave because it basically warms up your entire body with just this one move. So I'll break this move down into uh, simple steps. So first one is you have your knee up and then you're gonna lunge out to about 11 degrees. You can put your back knee down if you want, then both hands inside the knee and then you're rotating up. So you have a straight line from your hand up here, down, look at your hand, back down again. Bring up the butt to get a good stretch in your hamstring right here. Stand up. So let's just do it with me. Here's how it is in real time. So that's two and up. Whew. Two and up. So mm -hmm. dynamic stretching before, static after. So when your muscles have been worked out, they're warmed up and everything, then you can actually do the static stretching. So, so here are some examples of static stretches from our Team Live Lean 31 day workout challenge. This is what is performed after your workout as part of the cool down. This is when your body is already warmed up, your muscles may be tight from the workout, so this is the perfect time for static stretching. And if stretch. you have that cold rubber band, the first thing you're not going to do with it is like pull it all the way to yeah. its capacity. You'd want to like gently coax it in. Coax, you coax it. it. Coax it. <laughs> yes. So that's why dynamic stretching is so good for you. But yeah, static stretching when you're already warm, there's definitely merit yeah. to that. So yeah. Make sure you're warm first. So to find the best program for you, go take our Live Lean Body Quiz. Four simple questions will get you on the best program based on your goals, warm ups, cool downs, workouts, nutrition plans. We got it all. Today's question of the day, what is your favorite warm up exercise? Share your experiences in the comments section below. Now I want you to go watch this seven minute dynamic stretch routine that Jessica did. You can go watch the full follow along video right over here.